Mark. Linz, thanks. Not a surprise where the city is being hit with a federal lawsuit accusing it of violating the First Amendment rights of a citizen. All of this stems from a city council meeting in Surprise last month when police arrested a woman during the public comment period. 12 News journalist Chase Go Lightly was at tonight's city council meeting and has more on the new suit. This federal lawsuit comes the same day the council held its first meeting following the incident, where nearly a dozen people spoke out against what you are about to see. It was at this surprise city council meeting in August when Rebecca Massey was arrested. Do not put your hands on me. She was speaking against a proposed pay raise for the city attorney during public comment when surprise mayor Skip Hall said she was violating city policy. This is your warning. OK, a warning and for what? A warning for attacking the city attorney personally. Um, this is all factual information. It doesn't matter. When she refused, saying it's her First Amendment right, the mayor asked for her to be removed from the building. In front of is. my 10 year old daughter, you're going to escort That's me fine. out for expressing my she First Amendment rights. You. That concerned us greatly because every American and every Arizonan has a First Amendment right to be heard by their government. It caught the attention of Connor Fitzpatrick, an attorney with the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression that is now suing Surprise, Mayor Hall, and the police officer who arrested Massey, claiming they violated her First and Fourth Amendment rights. Every American has a First Amendment right to make their views known to their elected officials, and that's all Ms. Massey was doing. Fitzpatrick says the problem comes down to this policy that everyone who participates in public comment has to sign stating that speakers cannot complain against any city employee. Fitzpatrick claims the First Amendment trumps city policy. That's viewpoint discrimination, and that's unconstitutional. Then during Tuesday's regular city council meeting, it was packed, and every person who spoke during public comment was against the mayor. And I stand with her. You need to come up with some something where this just doesn't happen again. It's an embarrassment. Even going as far as saying the mayor should lose his job, because of this. Unfortunately, think that you've already ruined your legacy. I hope you have. The city council did not address the lawsuit at tonight's meeting, and a city spokesperson said they do not comment on pending litigation. We're in surprise tonight. Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right, Chase, thank you. And there's still much more to come tonight on 12 News at 10, including the very latest on two Phoenix police officers who were shot in the